Lovely. So I'm going to go and jump in and have a, have a crack at this question. It's a beautiful question. Right? So the least number of numbers to be deleted from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till 16 so that the product of the remaining numbers is a perfect square. Incredibly tough. Incredibly tough. And the product of the remaining numbers. We are deleting some numbers. Right? So I'm going to think of it. First, I'm going to write down all numbers. And I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to think about 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9 into 10 into 11 into 12 into 13 into 14 into 15 into 16. Now, I'm going to think about numbers, assuming this is the perfect square. If you remove some number, I want to think whether it will continue to be a perfect square. And so, I want to remove some numbers. What is the least number of numbers to be deleted in order for the product to be a perfect square? Think about it. If I delete everything except 1, I'll have a perfect square. 1 is a perfect square. If I delete everything, Except 4, I'll have a perfect square. Everything except 9, I'll have a perfect square. So I can delete 15 numbers and have a perfect square. That I know. Right? Now, I can probably delete everything except 1 and 4. I'll still have a perfect square because 1 into 4 is a perfect square. I can delete everything except 4 and 9, still have a perfect square. Or delete everything except 1, 4, and 9. 1 is a perfect square, 4 is a perfect square. 9 is a perfect square. I multiply these 3, I'll still get a perfect square. I can multiply 16 also, I'll still get a perfect square. So out of these 16 numbers, if I delete everything else except the perfect squares, then I'll have a perfect square. 1 into 4 into 9 into 16 is a perfect square. Right? So if I can create perfect squares right? remaining, then if I eliminate the rest, then I'm through. 1, 4, 9, 16 I have. Delete the remaining 12 numbers. We are good. But 12 is not there in the choices. And we are told that we want to delete the least number of possible items. So, there is some other mechanism we have to think about. So, 1 into 4 into 4 into 9 into 16. This is the perfect square. I can have this as my perfect square. The remaining 12 numbers I will delete. Brilliant. But as the choice is telling me, I don't have to delete 12. I can delete far fewer. I still have it. How does that happen? I don't find any other perfect squares here. And is there a mechanism of generating a perfect square from the remaining numbers? If I want to try that out, what do I do? I'm going to remove 1. I'm going to remove 4. I'm going to remove 9. I'm going to remove 16. I'm going to stare at the remaining numbers. Is there some combination I can extract out of these that will result in a perfect square. But think about it, it's very important. So I have 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Can I combine some of these to get a perfect square? Think about it. There is a 2 here. If I can find one more 2 somewhere, that's a perfect square. There is a 3 here. If I can find one more 3 somewhere, that's a perfect square. Lovely. 2, 3 can be combined with another 2, another 3 to give me a perfect square. What can I do? 2, 3, 6. 2 into 3 into 6. So 6 into 6. 36. That's a perfect square. So from here, if I eliminate 2, 3 and 6, or here if I include 2, 3, 6, this is a perfect square. So I have picked up 7 numbers out of this 16, and I've got myself a perfect square. That means I could have removed, deleted the remaining 9 and it should be great. So if I can delete 9 numbers and I can end up with a perfect square, brilliant. But look at it, we don't have 9 in the choices. So 9 is also not the answer. 6, 15 was not the answer. 12 was not the answer. 9 is also not the answer. But now I've got myself a method. I put 2, 3 and 6 together and got a perfect square. Can I put something else together and get one more perfect square in some combination? Then I'm through. Right? Now I'm going to think about it the other way also. Where can I never find a perfect square? What can I never handle? I mean, think about it. It's all these numbers. Is there some number that can never be combined with something else to get a perfect square? 
phi, do we have another phi here? Yeah, we do. We have a phi in 10. We have another phi in 15. So maybe we can combine a phi and a 10. We get a phi square. 7, 7 and 14, we get a 7 square. There is something that simply cannot be put with another number. Simply cannot be combined. Has to be removed. There is no way of combining with something. Yeah, I have those numbers. I have 11 sitting here and I have a 13 sitting here. There is no way 11 can be part of the remaining. Why not? Because I have 11 and it is part of a perfect square. I should have another 11. There is no another 11 possible. So 11 and 13 have to remain. They will have to be there finally or they have to be removed, not remain. They have to be removed. Because if I don't remove 11, it will be sitting inside my remaining thing. There is only one 11 in the system. So that cannot be part of a perfect square. So 11 and 13 will definitely remain. Right? Now let's see, what are we left with? I'm going to redo this, rewrite this, because it got confusing. I've cancelled some things, not cancelled some other things. So I'm going to write it down all over again. I have 1, 4, 9, 16, 2, 3, 6. I can retain all of this. And 11 and 13, I have to remove, definitely. I'm going to write down the remaining numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 are gone. 5 is there. 6 is gone. 7 is there. 8 is there. 9 is gone. 10 is there. 11 and 13 have to be removed. So I will not write down 11. 12 is here. 13 has to be removed. So I'm not writing that down. 14, 15. Think about it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers are being retained. 2 have to be kicked out. 7, we still have to evaluate. Right? These 7, we still have to figure out. Now, just like how we got a 2 into 3 into 6 for 6 square, can we get some other square carved out here? If we can, we are through. How do we do that? 5 into 8 is 40. 5 into 10 is 50, 8 into 10 is 80, none of these are perfect squares. And so 5 into 8 doesn't work, 5 into 10 is 50, that has a 5 square in it, 5 into 10 into one more 2 from somewhere, we are through. Because 5 into 10 is 50, that is 5 square into 2, one more 2 from somewhere, we are through. Or 8 is 2 cube. So I'm going to write this as 2 cube. I'm going to write this as 2 into 5. This is just 5. So think about this. If I combine 5, 8, and 10, I'll be combining 5, 2 cube, 2, 5. So there are 4 2s and 2 5s. 5 into 8 into 10 is 400. 400. 20 square. Brilliant. So 5, 8, 10 can be retained. I'm going to remove all of this and say I'm going to retain these also. Brilliant. So 1, 4, 9, 5, 8, 10. So 7 plus 3, 10 can be retained. Out of 16, 6 can be kicked out. But even 6 is not there in the choices. So what is that telling us? They're telling us that even after this, all this, from the 7, 12, 14, 15, we can still carve out some square or in some combo we can carve out a square. How do we do that? 7, 12, 14, 15, we need to carve out a square from here. How do we do that? 7 and 14 if we carve out, that is 7 square and a 2 remaining. How do we accommodate that 2? What will happen to that 2? That cannot be combined with a 12 to give a square. That cannot be combined with a 15 to give a square. There is something funny happening here. We still cannot combine this. But the answer is telling us that it can be combined in some other form. So what is that giving us? That is clearly telling us that 7 and 14 are combined in some way to give a perfect square. Somewhere, it is 7 and 14 are being combined to give a 7 square. So we have missed something in the way we are combining these. These four go together. But maybe we shouldn't have put 2, 3 and a 6. Maybe we shouldn't, we shouldn't have put 5, 8 and a 10. Maybe we can combine with a 12 to generate something. Maybe we can combine with a 
15 to generate something. So let's see if we can rejig this. And so 5, 8 and 12, 5, 8 and 10, it's an easy combination. So I'm going to not do that. I'm going to retain 5, 8 and 10. So we have 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. And so 12 and 15 are tricky customers. I'm going to think about 12 and 15. 12 into 15 is, is 180. 12 into 15 is 180. That is 36 into 5. So 12, 15, we can combine them together. Can we? 12, 15, 12, 15 and 5, we can combine them. Can we do that? 12, 15 and 5, these 3, that will be a perfect square. So we will have 7, 14, 8 and 10 remaining. 7, 14, 8 can be combined together. Think about it. 7, 14 and 8. 12, 15 and 5, they can be combined together. How so? 12 into 15 into 5. This is 3 into 4 into 3 into 5 into 5. 3 square into 2 square into 5 square. So these 3, 12, 15, 5, we can eliminate. Remaining what we have, 7, 8 and 14. 7, 8, 14, 7, 2 cube, 2 into 7. If we combine this, we will get 7 square and 2 power 4 or 7 into 2 square, the whole square. 28 square is this. So if you go back to this spot, we can remove 5, 12, 15, we can remove 7, 8, 14. All of these combined to give us beautiful square. So with the 10 finally remaining, so 10, 11, 13, if you delete that, then we'll get a beautiful perfect square. So with removing just three numbers, we can get there. Right? Now I'm going to just do a very quick recap. So what have we written down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We said we'll have to cut off three numbers. The three numbers we are taking out are 11, 13 and 10. The remaining should be a perfect square. How will it be a perfect square? This is a perfect square. 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 Brilliant. We have got those. This is 2 into 3 into 6. Carves itself out. That is a perfect square. Then what do we do? We said 12. 15 and 5, they carve together and give us a perfect square. Then what do we have? We have 7, 8, 14, there, that's a perfect square. So all the remaining can be clubbed together in different combination to finally give us a beautiful perfect square. What we cannot accommodate are 11 and 13. After we acknowledge that we cannot accommodate 11 and 13, we can then recognize that 10 also has to be kicked out. There's a beautiful another way of doing this. I want you to think about that. The product of all of these, write in terms of the prime factorization. Right? So you write down the prime factorization of all these numbers and think about the product. The moment you do that, and you think about that overall prime factorization of 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6, all the way to 16, you know what prime factorization is. Write down the prime factorization of each of these and put all the prime factorizations together you will recognize that 11 and 13 cannot be paired up. Not just that, beyond 11 and 13, a 2 and 5 cannot be paired up. So take away the 11 and 13, take away 2 into 5, 10, remaining everything can be paired up. And therefore, removing 3 numbers is sufficient. Hush.